Hey guys, welcome back. I got a really special show planned for you today, um, mainly because I searched YouTube all night last night and I cannot find another program like this one. Um, it's going on right here in my hometown. So uh, first I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what they're doing and why I think it's cool. And then I'm gonna take you up there and we'll see what we can find. We'll talk to a few people and, and check it out. Um, but first let's talk about, um, in my videos you see a lot of things that are art inspired. So there's three major uh, art forms. There's literary art, there's the performing arts, and there's the visual arts. Um, today, what we're going to be looking at is visual arts. That's what you see a lot of my work. Um, I do the leather work. Some of my carpentry's got some art in it, you know, if you look at it. Um, the things you'll see in art are line, shape, color, texture, and space. Um, lines are pretty important. They, they make it look good or bad. Um, texture is a really cool one. That's one we're going to really see today. Those are probably the two we're going to see. We're going to, this form of art that we're going to see today is probably the best form of art for texture. Um, you also see some really great lines in the shape also. Um, there's going to be a little bit of it in everything. First, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come around and I've got a little bit of a display put up. Um, this is going on around town. So I was happy to um, help them out and I'll show you what I got. Okay, this is kind of my display. What we're talking about today are quilts. Okay, so I got five quilts hung up here and uh, people are doing this around town, hanging them up on their front porch. So we got my baby blanket right there. Uh, my grandma made that. My grandma actually made all three of these. Zelda DeVore made these. Um, this one she made when I was born, this one when my oldest daughter was born, and this one when I was a teenager. Um, this is a shot I took out. I thought, well, this can't be so hard. And I found out different. Uh, and then Nicole made this one for us. It's a, I call it my bicycle blanket, because uh, that's what I like to do. It's got a lot of cyclists on it. And then these are the different colors, like in the World Champion jersey. You got the, the spotted, the polka dot. That's a, that's a jersey in the, in the yellow jersey also in the Tour de France. Um, but if you look here, and I'm not an expert on quilts, um, but you got blocks, okay? And then um, I know this is a this is a form of stitching that I'm not familiar with the name of it, but hopefully this afternoon I will know. Um, another one with blocks, but this one's the one I'm most proud of. If you look at this, each one of these is an individual piece that she's sewn together. And if you look really close, if I can show you, those stitches are not done with a sewing machine. Those are all done by hand, one stitch at a time connecting each block so let's say we start with this block we probably started in the center and worked our way out but we put all these together first we had to cut them get them all the exact same size and then we sewed this two together and then this one to these two on around went all the way around with another color third color fourth color fifth color and come out until we got this whole beautiful piece of art okay and again, I'll show you out here on the sides. See how this, we got these swirl, how they're all really even. Let's look at that. That's all done by hand. Okay, no sewing machine. Think about the hours that go into this. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll hop on the bike and spin up town. We'll see if we can find some more um, beautiful quilts like this, talk to some of the people who made them, and show you as much as we can. So let's get started. Okay, originally this was scheduled to be held at the junior high, uh, but due to health concerns, uh, they weren't able to use the junior high. But there's a local business, it's uh, Valbert's Feed Store, it's a drive through feed store. And um, they allowed the Quilt Guild to use their building to uh, have a drive through so people don't have to get out of their cars and they won't be touching everything. It'll be a lot healthier for everybody, so they were still able to have it. Okay, so I've arrived here at uh, the quilt show and we're starting in the back. So we're coming in from the alley and then we're gonna drive through uh, the feed store 
and but I've been stopped by security so I'll turn you around and uh, we're gonna talk to them see if we can't get inside okay guys this is the security guards um, they're they're keeping me held up here at the road um, and I'm trying to get um, access to get inside you, you can see over here this is where you're going to enter and you can't walk in uh, so one of the problems is I'm on a bicycle um, so I'm gonna have to ride in but guys is there any chance you'd let a bicycle go through to do a YouTube video of the quilt show yeah I think that could work you think I you could arrange know. that I think that could work who would I who would we have to talk to mom is that her right there yes okay let's see what we can do Okay, I'm here uh, with the president of the Sisterhood. So Nifty Sisterhood, so nifty quilt, sisterhood guild. quilt Guild. And they are getting ready to have a drive through quilt show, right? That's right. Originally, you were going to be at the junior high. Yeah, originally our quilt show was for July at the junior high. It's been rescheduled to October. So now we're still able to have it, but it's going to be a drive through That That's way right. we don't spread it. This any... is a mini show. A mini a, show. A lead okay. into our big show in October. The big show is October... 9th and 10th. It's a Columbus Day weekend. Okay, perfect. And uh, so how many people are in your sisterhood right now? We have around 80 members. And you started with... How, did, uh, how did you get started? We started as a group of 10 people that wanted to um, kind of form our own guild here in Florida. We didn't know if there would be a lot of interest, but we thought we'd give it a try. And within no time, we were up to 50 members, and now we're around 80. Awesome, awesome. And so today, you're going to raffle off some quilts? Well, they're, we're selling raffle tickets for two quilts today, but they're not going to be actually given away until October at the big show. Okay, and then uh -huh. that money is going to be used to expand, or um, what are we doing? We're a 301, uh, 501-3C... Um, charity and we do lots of community works in here um, in in our county but one thing we do is make foster quilts for foster awesome. kids and and we've covered a six county area there we've also made things for cancer patients and Alzheimer's patients and we have a big long list of good deeds that we have done awesome that's great okay well thanks for letting me come you're gonna let me walk through that's right go okay on right on so ahead. we'll get started Let's go do that. So I'm gonna start you out. You can see they kind of got some cars lined up, ready to go. And it starts at 11 and we're, we got about five minutes. When you pull up, this is what you're gonna see. Um, this is the, the people that have donated the building and they've got a quilt there, it's pretty cool. Here's uh, some for the foster kids, a little display there. I really loved all the colors in it. I think a kid would really love that. These are some of the raffle quilts in the table. What do, what do we got here? Um, these are goodie bags that everybody's going to get as they come through the line and it has a little pencil to vote It has a ballot and it has some information about our upcoming quilt show and about our guild plus you get a free okay. mint So we get it. We're gonna vote for our favorite quilt. That's the right. End. They're all okay. numbered and you get a vote. Okay, perfect We got drinks because it's hot Cookies, dog treats. Cookies this yeah, if, you a, bring, if you bring your dog treat, they get a little treat. This is like a holiday quilt, isn't it? I see. We have many dogs. Yes. Thanksgiving. Yep. Yep. We got pumpkins here, and we've got Fourth of July here. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a cute one. Good. Okay. All right. So coming on in. Oh wow, there are a lot. And what do we have here? These are what? What? What's this material? Marine plywood. Plywood. So we have these are are these what they call barn quilts? Yes. Yeah, right here's our sign, barn quilts. So I've been seeing these on a lot of barn quilts. Pretty neat. Oh, look at that. So Malia Cooper made this. Yes. And it's a cat. That is. This. Huh. back. That's pretty awesome. Okay. There's a fall inspired one. Here's Harry Potter. Pretty neat. Let's go to the right. Those blocks were made in the 50s by her grandmother. Oh, so it was started by her grandmother and finished by her? Huh. What's this kind of stitching called? Embroidery. That's like my baby blanket that I was yes. talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just walking on through. So what we'll do is we'll walk you through the whole thing, and then we'll take still shots to have at the end. This building was built in 1911. That's pretty neat. Here's another Wizard of Oz. 
Oh wait, I gotta back up and get a picture of this one. I love that one. This is uh, sports inspired. Okay. So far, I'm really, really impressed. This is a Christmas feel. And these all have names on them. What, so the number is just the number of the quilt that we're going to vote for. Is a camping one. Oh, there's so many. Exit, we're back out to the highway, and then this is where we would vote, I assume. And that's it. So, I'm gonna buy some raffle tickets. Alrighty. And while I'm filling these out, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Okay. What was your first name? I'm sorry. Michelle. Michelle. Okay. <clears throat> what role do you play here besides working, Michelle? Oh my goodness. Well, I'm an executive board member and a quilter for the guild. Perfect. And how long have you been quilting? Five years. Five years, and what inspired you to start quilting? Well, I was a piecer, and I guess I got tired of paying everybody else to, <laughs> to quilt my quilt, so. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, have you ever made an, an edible quilt? I have not. Have you ever heard of an edible quilt? I have quilt? not, no. What do you think about the idea of like sitting in your chair, watching a movie, being able to just eat I think it's quilt? dangerous. I think don't it's think dangerous? it's a good idea. Okay. No, not at all. Well, we won't go with that. Okay. I think it's a good idea. I'll make you one. You can How sit many? in your chair and eat it. <laughs> That's what I want. I want a popcorn quilt, okay? okay? You know, like we'll how on, you have you string, want to just string popcorn? It together? Yeah. Okay, we can but do then that. I want a quilt like that so I can just eat the quilt while I'm watching my movies. Okay. Okay. okay, so as I was walking through, you might have heard me say that the building was built in 1911, but I stand corrected. I'm here with Cindy Valbert. Her husband owns this building. Uh, tell me what you told me, Cindy. The, uh, the uh, Valbert's... Uh, feed store was actually uh, started in 1911 by Steve's uh, great-grandfather. It's a fourth generation owned uh, store, uh, oldest business here in Flora, and um, that building actually where it was originally started was destroyed in a fire and then they rebuilt this building. So this building was built as a drive-through feed store in 1936. So 1936. This building has been here since okay, then. so the the business started in 1911. Yes. The building was 1936. Yeah. Okay. Originally, Great. when it started, I think it was kind of a like a, a general store type thing. Uh -huh. And then they, when they built this, they built it specifically as a drive-through feed store. And they did still have a lot of general um, store type items. But then you know, as things change through the years, it's become mostly livestock feed and dog feed. And sure garden, lawn and garden, sure. things like that. So family business for over 100 years right here in Florida. Well, yes, that's, that's right. Awesome. All right, yeah, thank come you. Come see us. Thank you. Free cookies, okay, courtesy perfect. of the Curly Tail. Okay, okay. So, and the Curly Tail is a new um, smoked barbecue restaurant here in Florida, right? Yes, sir. Okay, what took smoked barbecue so long to get to Florida? I've been wanting to do this. I don't know. I was raised on Southern smoked barbecue and that for like the last 25 years that I've lived in Florida, I've wondered what I gotta do to get smoked barbecue in Florida. Now well, we got it. And we're located, we where are we located? We are located on East North Avenue. Right across from Right Aquinas across park. from the park. Yep. Okay, perfect. So we got we have brisket. brisket. We have pork, ribs. Ribs. We have wings, burgers, chicken strips. And? A cookies. And cookies. What else do you need? Soda? You got soda? We have soda. Okay. You got beer? No. We'll work on that. I know. We're we'll working work on, on the beer. Okay. Maybe one so, of get to the curly tail. I'm going to have a cookie. Come by and try it. Here we go. These chocolate ones are... Oh, man. Are they? Yeah. Strawberry. We'll get you oh. some strawberry. Maybe. Okay. I'm at the end of the line, and I'm ready to vote, and I'm with Cheryl McCarty. Cheryl, how long have you been in the sisterhood? Since the beginning. Since the beginning. And how long have you been quilting? Oh, about 10 years. 10 years. Okay. Have you ever made an edible quilt? No. No. What do you think about the idea? Okay, you're sitting in your chair, watching a movie, eating your quilt. 
It's like made out of popcorn or pizza or something like that. Oh my. The work that goes into a quilt, I don't think I could eat it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe someday I'll find an edible quilt, but we're going to work on that. Right now we're going to vote. Okay. That's it from the quilt show. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so we can keep bringing you more videos just like this. From Valvert's Feed Store in Flora, Illinois, I'm Max Speed. Thanks for watching. Bye.
Oh yeah, now I remember. Okay. So, I did it again. <laughs> so before I leave, I want to talk to my guy Silas here. Silas is the only boy quilter in the quilt guild. Silas, how long have you been quilting? Um, four years. Four years. And you're how old now? Nine. So you started when you were... Five? Five, right. So uh, what inspired you to start quilting, do you think? Do you remember? Because you were only five. Did your mom, like, make you start? Did she say, you're going to quilt and there's no... Because you're in trouble. You can't go outside. You're going to quilt. Is that, what, is that how it worked? No. No, you just wanted to, remember. right? You don't remember. It was a long time ago. What kind of quilts have you made? Have you ever made an edible quilt? Yeah. You're really an edible. I thought that was my idea, but you already did it. Well, what kind of, how did it, so like you can sit in your chair while you're watching cartoons and you can eat the quilt, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. And you already made one. Can you make me one? Probably. What kind did you make? What was it? What flavor? Pizza. Pepperoni. <laughs> Pepperoni pizza. <laughs> That's awesome. Have you ever made like a bacon and eggs quilt? Because I like to... I like to get in my chair in the morning when I'm yeah. waking up drinking my coffee. Can you make me a bacon and eggs quilt? Yeah. That's, that's yeah, perfect. You made a leather quilt? Do you like to work with leather? Yeah. I do too. You made a leather quilt? Uh, was yeah. it heavy? Yeah. Yeah? I bet it was heavy. And uh, when can I expect this pepperoni pizza quilt to be um, done? Next week. Next week. How many can you make in a week? Um, probably five. You can make five quilts a week. That's pretty good. How many can uh, they make in a week? It probably takes them like a month, doesn't it? Yeah. About a month. Your mom makes one in like about a, a month? Like a year. It takes your mom one year to make a quilt. But you um, can make how many in a week? Um, five. Five. For Silas Cooper, I'm Max Speed. Thanks for watching.